This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 Map First Impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at New Park Farm. But before that, this video is brought to you by Jay and Dozer. Thank you for being farm barons. So the New Park Farm map can be found over at the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for PC players only. Let me read you a little bit of the description. Welcome to New Park Farm. This is a fictional map inspired by real life farms set in the UK. It has 37 fields ranging in different shapes and sizes includes three forest areas, can be turned into fields if you wish, and two farmyards with New Park Farm being the main farm and East New Park Farm being a smaller farm. You can find cows, pigs, sheep at New Park Farm, plus a grain storage and two silage pits. At East Park Farm, you can find pigs and sheep only, as well as a single silage pit. Both farms have fuel tank for refilling your vehicles. There's also a small storage yard at the north side of the map for extra storage. Sheds and animal pens can be sold in the yards if you wish and can also be repurchased. Now, a little bit more caveat on can the farms be customized later, but I can confirm you can indeed sell all of the buildings. You can find a water filling point at the lake in field 37. You can also sell grain, root crops, timber, wood chips at the Thomas and Sons. For machinery, you can buy and sell them at Taylor's Agricultural Engineers, and animals can be purchased at New Park Market, while bales, wool, milk can also be sold there. Now, I have to say, I really don't know why this map is being released for PC only. My guess is maybe it has multi-terrain angle enabled, because I didn't see in the map at all where there was any use of additional scripts. I will also say that effective with this map video, we're going to start something different with respect to the Platinum expansion. In 2022, toward the end of 2022, we talked about using the Platinum expansion additional productions as part of a rating system. I've decided not to do that. And instead, what I'm going to do is on the thumbnail, you'll either have the Farming Simulator 22 logo for maps that do not support Platinum expansion production selling and for maps that do support platinum expansion production selling built in you'll see the platinum expansion farm sim 22 logo right there on the thumbnail so based on this thumbnail you now know you cannot sell platinum expansion productions built in more on what you can and can't sell here in a little bit now we are going to use the mods that we typically use when we take a look at maps it is additional field info additional game settings, field lease, field calculator, and precision farming. Let's go ahead and watch the log load up as we load the map on in. I will say if you load this map up in farm manager mode or start from scratch, the farms are built out exactly how you see them here in new farmer mode. In addition, you do have starting machinery in all play modes, except you do not own any land. And of course your bank balance will be adjusted respectively based on your play mode. Now, when we load up in here, we load up at what I would say is the farmhouse for New Park Farm. Sorry, East New Park Farm. This is East New Park Farm, whereas New Park Farm itself is to the east, which doesn't make sense because the description said the main farm is New Park Farm, and East New Park Farm is smaller. Well, the starting farm, as you're going to see here on the PDA, is to the east of the farm where we are currently located. That would make this New Park Farm, in my opinion, but that's not the starting farm. That's a secondary farm that we can buy our starting farm is technically East New Park Farm. But let's not get too hung up over that. So as far as the land that we own at the start, we own farmland 15, which appears to be East 
New Park Farm. It can be bought for $271,836. We also own a farmland 14, 16, 17, and 18. They correspond with fields 27, 25, 34, 35, and 36, respectively. In addition, we have the New Park Farm, which can be bought as a pair of farmland ID 33 for $493,000 and farmland ID 36 for $130,000. There is a viable biogas plant, which you can also buy for $104,426. This map does include all of the standard crop types available to us in Farm Sim 22. And if we go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen, since we've already looked at the farmlands, here we can take a look and see what the prices are going to be for all of the owned and available farmlands, how big those farmlands are, and if those farmlands include fields, which fields they actually include. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly scroll through this list. At any point in time, you can pause the video to take a closer look at any specific farmland and or fields that you're interested in. Now that we've taken a look at our farm lands, let's go ahead and take a look at our field calculator screen. The field calculator screen is going to show us all of the fields that we own and can buy and how big each specific field is. We can then cross-reference the field number with the farmland number on the farmland lease screen to then get a general idea of how much it's going to cost to buy any one specific field. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how the precision farming soil map is being applied to this map. This map is making use of the French soil map, which I believe, if memory serves me correct, is actually the generic soil map that is a part of the precision farming mod. I was correct. This is indeed basically the generic soil map. Here you can see how it is being applied with respect to the starting land. A lot of that starting land is meadow space. Therefore, we're not seeing the soil map. But field 25 is a combination of sandy loam and loam. Fields that are related to New Park Farm are a combination of loamy sand, sandy loam, and loam. Take a look at our crop counter. This map is making use of the standard base game crop counter. And if we take a look at our prices screen, you will see that we do indeed have the ability to sell all of the base game crops that are a part of Farm Sim 22. Now, we do not have the ability to sell eggs. We do have the ability to sell wool at New Park Wool, which is the spinnery. We also have the ability to sell New Park Milk at New Park Milk. With respect to silage, hay, straw, and grass, we do have the ability to sell that. But as we move down through our productions, you will see we do not have the ability to sell any base game production. We do have the ability to buy bulk lime. We also have the ability to sell our stones at the Stone Crusher lime production point. We also do not have the ability to sell any of the platinum expansion production items. But if we do play with pumps and hoses, we do have the ability to sell our separated manure at New Park Bales. We do start out with a decent list of starting equipment. There are five animal husbandry areas on the map. None of them have animals at the start. We do have contracts available. We do not own any production chains at the start pretty good because we can't sell anything that we could possibly produce without putting down our own sell point. And this map does not have any collectibles. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with the Zetor HSX-130 and the Zetor Proxima HS-90 small tractor. We have the Valtra Valmet 8750 medium tractor. We have the Dutzfar Topliner 4090H Harvester that is paired up with the 4090H Harvester Grain Header and then ultimately the 4090H Header Trailer. We have our 1986 pickup truck. We've got the Karat 140TD Trailer. We have our Agrimaz PO5 XL Plow. We have our favorite Nordstein HK25 NS3030 Cedar and Power Harrow Combo. We have the Kuhn GMD 4411 side mower, as well as the GMD 3123F front mower. We have a Ponger Alpine Hit 4.4H tether. 
We have the Semez Z2840H wind rower. We have the Impress 125 F Pro round baler. We also have the Quickie Q3M front loader arms. For the front loader, we have a universal bucket and we round it all out with a 750 kilogram front weight. There is nothing least also. And if we take a look at our mods and DLCs, you will see that this map does not include any custom vehicles or machinery. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and tab real fast over to what I am gonna call East New Park Farm, which appears to be the actual starting farm as opposed to what the description says. And we'll do a little bit of a farm tour through here. Once again, we have what I believe is supposed to be our farmhouse. There is no sleep trigger. So if you do wanna do sleeping through the night, you will need to put down your own sleep trigger. We've got our pickup truck. And we have a fuel tank right on the side of the shed here. Now with respect to, can the farms be customizable? Yes. All of these buildings, as I said in the intro, can be sold. But be aware there are certain things on these farms that cannot be sold. And that is specifically gates and portions of fence. Not all the fences. Some of the fences will go away when you sell the particular buildings, but some fences will also permanently remain no matter what. So to some degree, your customization options are slightly limited as opposed to being completely limited. I do like the fact that we do have built in the ability to sell these buildings. So if you're not wanting to do animals, you can sell them. And for the most part, you'll reclaim that land. But do be aware that there are going to be certain elements that are going to stick around permanently. So I believe here we have our sheep. Although what I am not seeing is the floaty icons to represent our sheep triggers. So we have 65 sheep in this pin. We have our food trough. We have our wool spawn point. And then we have our water trough. We have our manure keep. We have our slurry point. We have our pig area, 100 pigs in this particular pen. Then we have our food trough, our straw trigger, and then our water trough right here. Around the corner from the pigs, we have a covered silage bunker. Then we have the sheds for our starting machinery located right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our build mode because the description did say that we could place these sheds down as well. Indeed, here we do have all of the new park farm buildings as well as all the other buildings part of the DLCs. Doesn't appear to have any custom. Here we have our custom silage bunker that we can freely rotate 360 degrees on center. That is different than typical silage bunkers, which are going to be locked to one of kind of four different rotations. Silo extensions, all base game stuff, containers, base game stuff, tools, and of course farmhouses. We do have a farmhouse sleep trigger that we can put down, which is nice to see. Now if I put it right here, where my cursor is at the middle of the steps. Is it there or is it way over there? Because that's kind of an interesting thing. So it is shifted off to the side. So that is something to be interestedly aware of when you're placing that down. As far as production goes, we have all standard base game production, which is good because again, we can't sell anything. Greenhouses, orchards, generators are all base game. We do have the ability to put down our custom animal pins, which is good to see. We have our custom cow pin. We have custom pigs, sheep. 
And then we have what, what looks like standard base game decoration. Take a look at our ground textures. Fairly standard listing of ground textures. Standard trees and standard plants. Let's go ahead and take to the skies. We'll do a bit of a fly around. Now you will notice here that we do have areas where we have utility poles running through the fields. These utility poles do have collisions. So if you are playing with hired help, your hired help will avoid those poles quite aggressively. And if you are working with those fields yourself, you will need to pay attention to those utility poles and drive around them accordingly. As I mentioned, a lot of the starting land over here at East New Park Farm is meadow farmland. Below we have the lake with the water trigger, as the description said. And then we have what I'm going to call New Park Farm. Located right here, we have our pigs. We have our cows. And then we have our sheep right there. Our vehicle shop is located directly in front of us. And then we're going to make our way around to the biogas plant. Now, with respect to productions, as I've already said, the map does not allow you to sell any base game productions. But we do have a grain mill. We do have a sawmill. And we do have a spinnery on the map. So we do have the ability to make flour. Can't sell it. We do have the ability to make planks. Can't sell it. We do have the ability to make fabric. Can't sell it. Of course, you could always put down your own sell point to sell those productions, but hopefully this map will get updated soon, correcting at the minimum the ability to sell the things that are already built into the map. Now here at the biogas plant, if you purchase the land, you will own the BGA. And if you own the BGA, you can sell the BGA, which is nice to know because now that we have pumps and hoses, if you want a different setup here, if you want to build out your own pumps and hoses biogas plant, you can buy the land, you can sell the BGA, and put down your own custom pumps and hoses. Things you can't sell are going to be the way station, the lime stone crusher production which is located right there as well as this shed now directly behind the bga area we do have our grain mill located right here we have our sawmill we have a grain cell point independent of the grain mill then we have our milk cell point we have our animal dealer and then around the other side, we have our bale cell point, as well as our wool production area. So we've got our interactive icon, our pallet spawn point for our fabric. We all know what we can't do with fabric. And then our dump point for our wool. I did try to purchase this field just to see if I could sell the windmill. I cannot sell the windmill. So if you buy this field or the field that is adjacent to it, you will need to work around the windmills. And then here is the small vehicle yard that was mentioned in the description to the north. If you buy this field, you can sell both of those buildings as well as the storage container. So if you want to get rid of those and then expand this field, you could do that. I really don't think we need to bother too much with the actual drive around, given the fact that we have kind of some fairly, fairly minimal cell points. In fact, we've already visited all of those cell points. But what I do want to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy these two pieces of farmland because I do want to do a little bit of a farm tour here at what I'm going to be calling New Park Farm. So now that we own New Park Farm, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a tour and we'll kind of summarize our rankings. So with respect to the ability to sell 
all of the base game products, prop outputs, production outputs, and animal outputs, well, the map is suffering pretty major with that respect. In fact, we're just going to give the map a quarter of a point. We are going to give the map credit for having the ability to sell all of the base game crops, as well as the animal outputs that are built into the map, being wool and milk. But it would be nice to see the ability to sell our eggs, as well as the ability to sell the productions that at a minimum are built into the map. Here we have the ability to have 100 pigs. Let's go ahead and get that. So again, we have our food trough. We have our water trough. Would be nice to see those icons also. We've got our slurry point and we have our manure heap. On the other side here, we have a sheep area. So again, we have our water trough. We have our wool spawn point. We have our food trough. And our sheep drop off point, 65 sheep once again. Across the street then. Now this was one viable piece of farmland. Farmland ID 36, includes field 21, and then the rest of the farm is over here associated with farmland 63, which includes field 17 and 16. Now over here, the first thing that we're going to come across is going to be our fuel trailer, or our fuel tanker. With respect to having production built in, we are going to give the map a full point because we do have basically five productions. We have a grain mill, a BGA. We have wine production. We have a sawmill and a spinnery. So we have one of our silage bunkers here, which is covered, one which is open. We have our cow area. One hundred and forty cows in this particular facility. Here we have our food trough for our cows. We have our slurry point. Let's just check our animals to see do the cows need water. They do not need water, so we don't have to worry about watering those. We have our manure heap for our cows. Now, since we don't have our blue floating icon, what I don't know is, is our milk trigger located here? Or are we going to have to go inside of here in order to get to our milk trigger? With respect to buildings using the new texturing technique, I'm going to go ahead and give the map a full point there as well. And with respect to player interactive triggers being clearly marked. Well, as we have seen with our animal areas, they are not clearly marked. So we are going to knock a little bit of points off. But before I finalize that, let me just check one thing. Because sometimes these get turned off. They got turned off. Okay, now let's go back. Let's go back before I really, really do anything. Nope, they're not there. Nope, they're still not there. All right, so even though I had the hotspots turned off, for whatever reason, floaty icons are still not there for animal ears. We are going to take off a quarter of a point because I do want to see those floating icons at those animal areas. It will help clearly define to the player where things need to go. So overall, this map is going to get a score of 2.75 out of 5. Now, am I being hateful on the map? No. I don't not like this map. I think this map is a very nice, small, UK-style map. It's just not playing very well with our scoring system because of some standards that we are trying to have and hold every map to. So here we have our silo system. We have our dump point and our fill point. And then once again, we have our starting farmhouse. 
which again does not have a sleep trigger but she does the map does include a sleep trigger that you can put down if you want let me know your thoughts down in the comments below what do you think of new park farm are you going to be hitting new park farm in the new year have you been have you been itching for a new map and is this map going to satisfy that itch let me know down in the comments below and until next time happy farming